Hey guys, Shell here. Chris, you too. QT Paranormal. We tried to do a live earlier, but it didn't work out because either we're having issues because of the storm or our whole city is having issues because I know people on Facebook have been complaining about it the last couple of days going in and out. So I'm not sure if it is a storm or if it's a citywide thing, but we decided to go ahead and do a pre-recorded live, try to um, salvage the train wreck earlier. <laughs> for lack, something that's a little smoother. Yeah, for lack of better words, we have to salvage the train wreck because this will be going on the streaming Roku and Amazon Fire TV. So we can't pre-record a video with um, Brittany and JJ live like we did earlier. So they're going to uh, include their personal messages to you guys so that you guys can hear them as well. So, Q2 hour tonight was Q2 half an hour. Q2 wreck hour. Yeah. It's called the internet. Q2 train wreck hour. Um, but we're trying to salvage that now. And we've never had any problems before doing this uh, Q2 hour except for tonight. I'm sure everybody saw the frustration on my face. Mm -hmm. We just try so hard to get this to go smooth. And then to have something as simple as an internet screw up it's just irritating when everything's yeah. perfect and at this point there's nothing to do about it but call on monday and say hey our internet's not working right no because we've seen a lot of people on facebook from the same city we are that's having the same issue so yeah so it's i don't it's definitely not us because we're on 5g ethernet cord right now anyways q2 hour we're going back to that um we forgot to pull the contest winners tonight because we were so flustered about our feed going down all the time. We didn't really properly get to tell you about the um, new contest we're going to do. So hopefully we'll be able to do all that. You might be able to win something. You might. So Q2 hour. We were going to do Crescent tonight, but we didn't get all the Crescent stuff looked at. Um, we had a Crystal show last weekend, so the Crystal show is pretty much, especially when we do custom jewelry. When we do custom jewelry, it takes up a lot of our time. So we have a lot, you mean all. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say all. I mean we enjoy doing it, but it does take up a lot of time. So I didn't know last week when we had the crystal show and I decided to do the jewelry again because it's been a long time since we've done the jewelry and people really like it. I needed a break. I had my fingertips sore to the bone. Yeah. But we took a long break, and I decided last weekend, hey, you know, let's offer some jewelry. And we did, and so we didn't have time to do videos. But we will. And I didn't know last week when we were doing the Crystal Show that I was going to get a phone call saying, hey, you guys are going on Roku and Amazon Fire TV, like in yeah. a couple days. Not a week, not two weeks, but in like a couple days. You got to love those. So notices you get. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about the Roku channel and the Amazon Fire TV. Now I know we're starting out on those two. Before our show is done shooting and editing, because that all still has to happen. We have two more locations to do. We have to finish up with Brittany and JJ. But before all that happens, we're going to pre-release one episode of On the Haunt that's not going to be in airing on the networks. It's just going to be on the Roku streaming channel. It's kind of like an introduction to us because, you know, we're not worldwide known yet like all the other people on TV and the paranormal groups. When we first started this team, we weren't even worried about people seeing this stuff. We were just done it because <clears throat> it's something we were passionate about. Yeah. So we're not so widely known as, you know, I'm not going to mention names, but. So we're going to pre-release this on the streaming channels, kind of introduce ourselves. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to do Q2 Hour with Brittany and JJ tonight. But unfortunately, our internet was not cooperating. Um, but, so this is what we're doing now. <laughs> we're going to get through it. Like I said, we are troopers, and we are committed, and we're going to get it done no matter what we have to do. So, But anyways, back to Roku Channel. Because it's going to be exclusive behind-the-scenes stuff, it's going to be stuff that's not going to be aired on the network, um, which pretty much up to us to get the, the stuff together to put up there. Um, we got to get it ready, and then the tech guy is going to actually get it, whatever 
they have to do to get that. I don't even know. If it hurts my brain to even think about it, I don't want another task to do. So, yeah, the tech guy's doing that. But anyways, we got to do that. I know that was a long spiel about stuff, but we're not live, so. <laughs> what do you have to say about the Roku and the Amazon TV? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. A lot of work going into it. Yeah. Putting this episode together. Well, more than one, but. Especially when things aren't cooperating. Yeah. Makes it a lot difficult. And we try so hard to put together such a professional thing. And we pull it off on the Crystal Chamber side. But on this side, we haven't pulled it off yet. Not not to my level of professionalism. Mm. Not even close. But we're trying. And the more we do it, the better we're going to get at it. Well, it's hard all you pick up. <clears throat> um, tonight, it's, it's not our fault. It's internet totally. Which sucks because we had a good audience on our live. Um, from YouTube, from Facebook, and from Vimeo. We had a really good audience tonight. And it sucks. But that's the way it goes, you know. You just gotta roll with punches, right? Duck, run, roll. I guess. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be under the unexplained and paranormal, and maybe the horror category. I'm not so sure about that one. I think we're more paranormal than horror. I mean, I don't know. People might think we're horror. <laughs> With our lives here lately. But, um, yeah, we're going to definitely be under unexplained and paranormal. And I was told horror, but I'm not so sure about that. I think I'm going to. I don't know. Some people, paranormal stuff is horror to them. Yeah, but. You horror, got some people that can't handle some of this horror stuff. Horror is more like movies. We're no, not, not necessarily. We're not up to movies yet. We're still on TV shows. Not necessarily. Horror doesn't mean that it's a movie. So it could let, be a yeah. documentary that's a horror because of the stuff that goes on. True. And dealing with. I didn't think about that. Well, we'll just see whatever they put us in. Like, I don't really care. As long as it's not the crazy and dysfunctional channel, I'm good. It's already crazy and dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, let's describe our TV show a little bit because no, we don't talk about it because we're really not allowed to. But um, now I'm allowed. we're allowed to talk a little bit about it since we're going to do the streaming thing first. And... Our show, in case we've never mentioned it to you or you've never heard before, is called On the Haunt. Do you want to explain the premise behind it or do you want me to? You can. <laughs> okay, so the premise of the TV show is there's a paranormal story that starts in our hometown. And there's the same cast of characters, spirits. I'm not going to say their names. You'll have to tune in to find out their names and the real story behind everything. But there is a group that needs help. And then there is something that is harming not only this group of people, but a lot of people from different times, like different eras. Different, I'm going to call it time stamps, like different time layers. It's all layered. Yeah. Whenever you go into a location, there's many layers of many things that have happened there. And you have to, like, pick the correct layer and hope that it's what's really going on at that location. Which we haven't really had any problems picking out the correct time layers, I don't feel. It's just a matter of pulling back the layers to get the correct information. Yeah. What we're doing with likes to try to trick you and point you in its own direction. Yeah. So. So the premise is. We're solving a mystery, and this isn't just us going to different locations. We do that on our training and on our sides to keep our on our side ventures to kind of keep our senses sh sharp. But this is more of going to direct locations where we were drawn, where the cast of characters draw us to. They have a way of drawing us to each location, and in each location, we we uncover another puzzle piece. All right, guys, so we've come to the part of the show where we're going to let our other team members um, speak. Miss Brittany, who is our photographer, and JJ, who is command center. Um, they were on live with us tonight, but we're not going to go into why. That was a train wreck. Um, 
So they sat down and recorded special messages for you guys to uh, watch. And we're going to watch Brittany right now. So Brittany's message coming up. Hey everyone, it's Brittany. I wanted to take a minute and say thank you for watching us and um, following us along on this journey. I am the still photographer for Q2 Paranormal. I go around and take pictures of spirits that are not seen to the eye. I also follow Shell and Chris and take pictures of them doing experiments to see what we can capture without seeing it. Um, but again, I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you. Can't wait for you guys to see everything that we have caught on camera. I can't wait for you guys to see this all come together. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for that video. Now we're going to go to JJ. JJ, who is in charge of our command center. For those of you who don't know, the command center is where we set up all of our ca our night vision camera security system cameras all over the location. He will set the table and he will monitor every camera throughout the night. He'll walk you the team if he sees uh, activity. And um, he just keeps an eye on everybody in general. If there's safety issues, he'll let us know. But JJ's really good at this because he has that attention to detail. Like, I don't. Like, I can sit there and stare at a screen all night long and not see anything ab abnormal. Because I don't have that kind of attention to the detail that he does. But I've noticed that he does. And the command center suits him very well. What do you think? Yes. Yes. So, all right. We're going to see JJ's message now, guys. Hello everyone, I'm JJ. I'm in charge of Command Center for Q2 Paranormal. My job is to monitor the camera systems and watch for activity. Um, if I catch activity in a room and our investigators are not in, I let them know so they can get to that area and try to capture whatever's going on. Um, we have a lot of new, fun, exciting things getting ready to happen. Um, make sure you keep an eye out on the pages for that. Um, to all of our followers, our supporters, our subscribers, we thank you so very much. You guys mean the world to us. Um, Chris and Shell, you guys do so much for us, and we really, really appreciate it. There's a lot of hard work that goes into this, and it means the world to us that you guys are there to support us and that you guys enjoy the content that we create. Um, I'm very thankful to be a part of this team. I'm very excited for the new things getting ready to happen. Make sure to keep an eye out, guys. We love you. Thank you. Message. <laughs> Thanks for that message, JJ. Um, so those are our two new team members. We are finishing our season one with them. We started season one, just the two of us. Yes. It was just the two of us. It's been a journey. Yeah. So, uh, it's a lot easier, I have to say, and a lot more fun with other team members. Uh, Brittany taking photographs and JJ monitoring everything on Command Center. It's a lot easier on us. No, I'm not carrying around a camera and everything else trying to investigate. So. Yeah. Plus, trying to monitor the cameras from a device. And... Right. Because nobody helps us. Just our team members help us. So, um, they have really helped out a lot. Yes. And... On our training, they blew our minds with their abilities over and over again. Uh, that will be on our Roku channel, some of that stuff that they went through to train, um, some of the exercises, some of the stuff they picked up on at our locations, that will be on there. We will have a special guest, Mike Rousseau. Is that how you say his last name? Mike Marusso. Marusso. Is that how you say his last name? Um, he will be, he came to the hospital and on college show, right? Yes. So, with his permission, we will include that on the streaming channels as well. Uh, he did a solo in on the first floor. That's where they said the mic on there, so. Yeah. So, we'll have that on our channel as well. Um, so, I think now that we're going to... Share the promo for 
photo contest. We are going to show you guys the promo for the photo contest. If you want to enter, I'm going to tell you the prize because that's not listed on the video. I had to do it really quickly before the show because we just decided to do it. So, I have received permission to include the prize of a QQ t-shirt, which you saw JJ have on. We're not good examples tonight. We're not wearing on. Neither one of us are wearing one. But you will win a custom tie-dyed t-shirt from us, QQ Paranormal. I only have sizes medium through, I think, 2X to large. So we should have... We should have everybody covered on sizes. You will get a fan t-shirt. You will also get a cameo in On the Haunt, an episode um, that we are going to film in the future. Obviously, you can't join an episode we've already done. So, and you will be included in the intro of the TV show using your fan submitted Red filtered picture. Yes, for that. Episode. So, so you're creating, the winner is creating their own photo for TV. For that episode that you will be in. For the episode that you'll be in. You're creating your own intro picture. So, it has. Get creative. Let's see what everybody's got. Give yep. us your best red filtered photo. It has to be red filtered. Those of you who know us and have been following us for a while, you know that red is our group color. Red and black. Red and black. So we try to do all of our photos um, red filtered. So that's what our challenge is going to be. Okay, enough of me talking about it. Watch the promo. All right? The details are in there. We'll be right back. Alright guys, what do you think of that video? Like exciting stuff, right? Hopefully Brittany liked that clown. I hope so. We had uh, dolls in the intro. Two two hour intro for Laura and we have clowns for Brittany in this one. I think there's a couple more people that uh let it out of the bag tonight that they might be scared of clowns and stuff. I saw some comments floating by. Oh yeah? Who was it? I ain't gonna say. We'll see. I'm not gonna say on on air, I guess. We'll see you on the lock. Mm, don't tell Chris your fears. It's like you don't even have to tell me. I can pick them up. That's one of the rules of Chris. Don't tell him your fears. But so you guys, and hopefully you noticed Michael Renancio Junior. Junior in that video. He is the first entry because he is the one who gave us the inspiration and the idea for this. Red filtered pick challenge. Yes, as soon as I saw the photo, I knew what was going to happen. He gave me an idea just like that. So, sometime in April, we're going to choose the winner. Make sure you hashtag, and that way we can see all your photos. And we are going to pick the one we like the best. And you are going to win a spot on an upcoming On the Haunt TV show with your own created picture. picture. Red filtered. Don't forget, it has to be red. It doesn't have to be a filter. It just has to be red. And you have to be able to see yourself. Yeah. Not just a red light picture. <laughs> so get creative. Don't harm anybody. Don't harm any animals, please. Uh, but otherwise... No blood. No violence. <laughs> no, well, if they want blood, that's fine. But no violence. It's just pictures. So. Um, get creative as you want. Just don't hurt anybody or any living animal, please. We will not choose you if you choose to do that. But creativity will go a long way. So good luck on that. And we will choose winners sometime in April. So now that we have rambled on for about a half an hour, we're going to close out this show. And hopefully you're able to watch it better than our live tonight. And next Q2 hour, in any Q2 hour we have, it doesn't matter if we're in California or if we're in Maryland, or if we're in an RV, wherever we are, we're going to have Q2 Hour every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We welcome you to come and chat with us 
hang out with us, um, enjoy the journey with us. Yep. Follow us on our journey. You can make it your own journey. Yeah. And um, we're all learning a lot as we go. Nothing's ever the same. So when we go on the RV, we might even have live cams running at all times in the public areas. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Right? Yep. People can look in on us whenever they want. I don't know if it'll be very interesting, but. We're going to put Baby Girl's face on the side of it. <laughs> so, Baby Girl's our chihuahua. She probably will be going with us. Um, and she'll be entertaining all on her own. I but feel bad for the rest of the team. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too. But we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that when we get to it. But anyways, guys, we're going to stop rambling on. This is Shell and Chris from q Paranormal and Brittany and JJ as well. Thank you for joining us for this video. My name's Steve. Your name's not Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us, guys. Not only on the video, but on the journey. Um, it's about to be a wild ride that we're just getting started on. So uh, Gretchen, Laura, Kathy, Amanda, Tracy, Sandy. Um, can you think of anyone else? Brittany, JJ, help me Gretchen, out here. Debet, Beth Bulger, Kara, Bev, uh, Miranda, Demi, Demi, all of you guys, thank you. We will never forget you, and we are so happy that you've been here. Firesides, yes, yes, continue to show us support. We really do appreciate it, and we hope to make many more friends along the way and family. Yes. So, all right, guys, we love you. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight, and we'll see you next Friday night for Q2 Hour. Bye, guys. Later, everyone. Mm -hmm.